Hi, I'm Pastor James. I'm Pastor Dorcas. Uh, we've been married for 11, 11 years. years. Uh, last month, uh, yeah. we have three children and together we lead Mabuno Church Hill City and the Hill City uh, network of churches. Uh, and obviously, you know, I'm the one uh, working for the church officially. I have been a stay-home mom for the last yeah. 10 years. I, um, so what has, that has meant for us is that we have had one steady income, which has been his income. Yeah. But through the 10 years, I've done a couple of side hustles. I've supplied peanut butter, I've done sister localization. I do sleep training, consulting, yeah. um, and a number of other businesses where I could do a little bit of a hassle, I yeah. would do it. But primarily, yeah. his income was the one income we would depend on. Yeah. So uh, from when we were newly married, we had uh, always desired to give fast foods. In fact, we had committed to yeah. do it. And then, you know, finally an official invitation came for us to give a fast food uh, through the Free the Future campaign. And something interesting happened, uh, and it's actually not happened to me before. I got a specific figure yeah. uh, that I felt that we should pledge uh, and it was a, a you know it was a big amount it was a million shillings mm -hmm. and the figure was very clear from the moment uh you know the senior pastor pastor m made that invitation and the struggles just began and and my first uh struggle was just the practical one okay mm -hmm. was fine you pledge a million shillings where is it going to come yeah. from uh, and i just had this battle uh, going within me but my second struggle was with putting it in record uh, on record and saying if i if i make this pledge then I need to, uh, you know, be able to say that at the end of the campaign, I, I fulfilled the promise uh, that I had that I had kept. Uh, the third struggle, perhaps a little more complex, was how do I share this with my wife? Uh, uh, how am I going to answer the question uh, when she says, "Okay, a million shillings"? How? Yeah. What James is saying is that he would not give me a figure. Yeah. I remember from November when the when the first time had a conversation with us. Yeah. I kept asking him, "Aya, we have the pledge card. Tell me how much you want when to give. When are we taking the? When are we giving it back?" And he just wouldn't commit. Every time, and I would corner him. Every time we entered the card, be like, "Aha, uh -huh, he would not." talk about it and so when he finally said it to me I think uh, a little bit into January In because fact, we were, you said to me yeah. just tell me just tell me how much you want to pledge yeah because I know him and I know he always yeah. wants to give significantly and so for me at that point I was like wow one million it's a good idea it's very romantic in fact I'm like I mean if God were to do it it would be great but it is very impractical at that point we had school fees arrears. We had, uh, the kids had needs we needed to buy for them that we didn't. Their uniforms were small or old. And then you were asking that we give a million. So it felt very, very impractical. But I was like, okay, fine. Uh, let's go for it. But in my mind, I knew that this is on his desk. Like you will need to figure it out. But it was really, really a hard struggle. I think the last thing for me, and I remember sitting with one of our interns and, I, and we were in a season of praying. And I remember her saying to me, I desire to be in ministry. I desire to be, um, to be a pastor. And I, but I also have big dreams. I have dreams that I want to own a home. I want to drive a good car. I want to live a good life. And I want to be able to, for her it was to the point of, I want to be able to go to a restaurant and pay for my meal even if it's 2K and not think about what I need to give up for that. Yeah. And the reality is that's, that's where our lives were, where we had to make one choice and give up another. And so when she said that to me, in fact, she said, when I look at your lives, you and Pastor James as a made disciples, I don't want your life. And I was humbled. I, I was don't like, see the things I, I desire. I don't see the things I desire. Yeah. And so how is ministry a practical decision? Yeah. And so the Free the Future Pledge became a personal desire for me at that point as well. And I said to the Lord, I need you to give us a miracle. But more than that, I want the miracle to come through me because um, I need this lady to know that it's possible, that yeah. her dreams can come true if she chooses to do ministry. Yeah, so we made our initial, our very first payment mm -hmm. for our Free the Future pledge, uh, you know, was our January income. But now things mm -hmm. got real because we did not know where the rest of the money would come yeah. from. And we started talking about do we sell land? Yeah. Uh, you know, we have some land that our parents blessed us with. Uh, and then, you know, something interesting happened. Yeah. Yeah. During this time, I was applying for jobs. I think I had started to apply for work um, just before COVID and then took a break during COVID. But then in that time, I had, I had sent in my CV to uh, to Different several or organizations, yeah. but I had gotten rejection letter after rejection letter. And so it was very difficult. And so at that point I was like, am I even gonna get a job? Is it going to be feasible? And one of my friends who I hadn't talked to for a long time called me about a possible job in her organization. In fact, she just said, hey, 
my job organization is hiring, would you be interested in a job? Mm. And I think the reason I was hesitant about that job, it was not a job in line with what I had been I, I had been doing yeah. or even experienced. Mm. So yes, I was an administrator, but it was a different angle. Mm. And so the thing I did was I said, okay, fine, let's explore. Mm. And I continued to, to I, I mean, I went through the application process the next week. That was a Friday, the next week on a Tuesday, I met with one of the, my colleagues um, for, for did the, my first mm. interview. On the Wednesday, I did my second interview. And by the Monday of the following week, mm. in less than a week, I had a contract signed and I was starting the job the next month. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And but but also in addition to that, for our one million pledge, uh, we are very excited that this yeah. month we will be sharing with our Hill City community that we are completing our payment uh, by God's grace, and it has been an incredible journey, and we are thankful to God for it.